Hey mom, it's Matthew. Um, just a very quick video to show you how to make the dough. It's not very hard, but I just want you to see how I do it. Um, the traditional Italian method anyway, um, you would actually make a little volcano on the counter itself or on a table. And that's what I often do, but first time, um, you may want to do it in a bowl so that the egg doesn't escape and make a big mess. So, um, Kim and I are actually making ramen noodles right now, so the mixture is different, but you can make it the same way regardless of whether you're doing this for the Italian pasta recipe. So, if you're making the Italian pasta recipe, this is just going to be flour. Um, and I'll send you the recipe, but I often will do part all-purpose flour, part um, semolina flour. And then the mixture that you pour into it is going to be uh, olive oil, lots of egg yolk, and um, a bit of milk. But since this is ramen, we use totally different proportions, and this is two eggs and half a cup of warm water. And this is three cups of all-purpose flour, um, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda. So the first thing you do once you've got your flour in the bowl is I just make a little well in the middle, like that. And once you've whisked together your egg and water mixture, then uh, you just pour it in the middle. And then you can use a whisk or whatever. I usually use a fork and I just slowly start whisking it around, slowly incorporating more and more flour like this. Sometimes I'll even just give the bowl like a little jiggle. Um, and you just do it patiently so that you're very slowly incorporating more and more flour. If you're doing it on the counter, the trick is to keep it all in the middle so that it doesn't, the egg doesn't spill over, go all over the place. But again, nothing wrong with doing it in a bowl. And so you just keep going, incorporating more and more flour until eventually it gets the right consistency which you'll know from when we made pasta together. And you can always, you know, obviously you've made dough before, so you can always add flour to it if it's too wet. And then um, once you, once the dough gets to the consistency you want, you just knead it for, now I've read for the, for the, Ramen noodles, you only have to knead it for five minutes or so. But the pasta dough, um, the recipe I'm gonna send you comes from um, a very famous chef, Thomas Keller. And he says, and I agree with him so far, that you cannot knead it enough. You could knead it for 20 minutes if you wanted. And it just improves the consistency and texture. So that's it. Hope you have fun with your pasta machine.